Luckily, we have a master thespian to read off my boring resume. Otherwise, I know at least I would have fallen asleep through that. So thank you, Mark, for the kind introduction. Uh, as was mentioned, my name is Kai Johnson, and I'm the uh, Deputy Country Representative for the Asian Foundation. I'm here tonight with my Bud Luna Obra, our Managing Program Officer for the Asian Foundation, and my beautiful wife, Shauna Winkisol Johnson, who's uh, observing from the back, and she'll give me the sign when I'm speaking too long. So, uh, on behalf of the Asian Foundation, I'd like to congratulate the organizers of Media Nation for, for their wonderful efforts in bringing together some of the country's most respected media practitioners for an intense and stimulating one and a half days. I would also like to thank the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, for making resources available to the Asian Foundation uh, for this project so that we can partner with Tagovado for the Penis uh, Foundation for this, for this summer. For those of you who already know the Asian Foundation, you will understand why it's important for us to support this summit. We believe in the importance of, of media's active and constructive participation in shaping Philippine society. For those of you who don't already know or aren't familiar with the Asian Foundation, we're a nonprofit, non governmental organization uh, based in San Francisco. We're committed to the development of a peaceful, prosperous, open, and just Asia Pacific region. The Asia Foundation has 17 country offices uh, throughout Asia, ranging from developed countries like Japan and Korea to less developed countries like East Timor and those that are engaged in conflict like Afghanistan. Uh, we've been in the Philippines here for 50 years, more than 50 years. Uh, we opened our offices in 1954, and we currently have offices in Metro Manila, in Manhattan, in, uh, in Zimbabwe, and in Colorado City. Um, as you can see from the information that you have in your packet kits, uh, we have programs in governance, legal reform, environments, uh, women's issues, etc. I won't bore you with that. I know you're a good researcher, so you can look at that if you're interested. Um, we don't have any programs per se focusing on, on media, but we do, uh, in the rest of our programs and activities, uh, involve the media uh, in a number of different ways. And um, I'd like to just mention a couple of those examples. Recently, with one retrospective media organization, we supported forums for journalists on strengthening judiciary media relations. Among the outputs was a guidebook for journalists covering the courts, and that included a glossary of legal terms for journalists without a legal background so that they could better understand what was going on in the courts and report accurately. Um, similarly, with an acclaimed group of media professionals, we organized a workshop recently uh, entitled Facing the Media, the Art of Being Interviewed. This was for um, civil society organizations that regularly deal with um, the media on sensitive issues like graft and corruption. And uh, hopefully, um, I, I believe anyways, that those, uh, those spokespeople or those uh, executive directors of those CSOs are now more comfortable in front of the camera and hopefully are giving more newsworthy information as well as some better sound bites, which I know makes your job a little bit easier. Uh, we also partnered with an excellent group of investigative journalists and security experts recently for three courses on journalistic skills and security training for nearly 100 Mindanao-based radio, radio broadcasters. The trainings took place in Davao, Kagandi World, and Zambanga. And I think all of us here appreciate how, how important that is, especially for the Mindanao-based radio journalists. 